Welcome to another short video tutorial uh, using the NNXT sampler in Reason. I'm Dan Helford and this time we're going to be looking at filtering. So I have uh, the rooster sample with a little loop running on it, like that, and uh, we'll uh, just have a look at where the controls and what they are for the filter are. So they're down in this box out, the bottom side, bottom right hand side of the remote programmer for the NNXT and you can see we've got frequency control uh, here, a resonance control here, keyboard tracking which we'll ignore for the moment, a number of filter orders here um, and an on and off control simply switching that on and off. Okay so before we hear what that sounds like some theory. Okay so filters are devices that affect the spectral um, response of a sound. So we plot them, uh, we plot their response on an amplitude frequency graph like this. And so um, the graph's lower axis runs from low to high frequencies from left to right and the amplitude is showing um, from a nominal uh, gain level here which I'll just mark on as a dotted line. Uh, filters tend to just be cutting uh, frequencies. So we'll draw the linear area of a filter here, so no change to the frequency response, and then a non-linear area there. And at this point here where the linearity changes is known as the frequency of cutoff or cutoff point. This particular filter rejects this high frequency material here um, and there's a corresponding filter uh, which is similar in, it, in its response entirely except for it is the other way around so um, the low frequencies are rejected uh, with the non-linear section uh, but it still has the same uh, cutoff point and operates in the same way so as I say this this one rejects this area the low frequencies So this filter is called a low pass filter because the linear area is in the low frequency and this one the high pass filter because the linear area is in the high frequencies. Now these two filters are the basic two kinds but they can be combined together to create the four filter types that are available in the NNXT. And the first combination that they can make is two filters overlapping in one direction to produce a uh, filter that lets through a limited bandwidth in the middle of the frequency spectrum, or actually it's variable, if I draw on the cutoff frequency, the two filters move up and down to allow you to move that, uh, that band pass section either to higher or lower frequencies, so that's called a band pass filter. And then if the two filters are slightly apart, so not overlapping, you can create a response which actually rejects a limited bandwidth in the middle, so it's this area that's removed by the filter um, and obviously the two filters are tied together and they move up and down um, according to the cutoff frequency there and this is called uh, a notch filter because it cuts a notch out of the frequency response. Now um, in all of these filters the frequency can be varied up and down, that's a very normal characteristic of a filter so the frequency cutoff control can be set by the user and you saw that in Reason. The other control that you normally find on a filter is a resonance control and what that does is that boosts around the area of the cutoff, it gives a slight boost in uh, amplitude at just those range of frequencies and this results in quite a, a sort of um, bell-like almost um, electronic quality to any sound and that happens at this uh, at these roll-off points uh, in all these filter responses. Okay, so let's hear what some of that sounds like. So if I play back the looped rooster sound and then apply a low-pass filter without resonance and roll off the high frequencies eventually down to nothing, sounds like this. nothing 
and progressively bringing in the high frequencies again till the full sound is restored. And so with a little bit of resonance on it, and you can clearly hear that resonance sweep going up and down there. So if we down switch to a high pass filter um, and do the same thing, let's leave the resonance on. So we'll start with the high frequencies only. So that's progressively bringing in the lower frequencies as the filter is um, closed up. And then let's switch the resonance off and hear a band pass filter sweep. Finally, a notch filter sweep to complete the set. So there you go. So obviously I was uh, controlling the filter frequency uh, cutoff value there uh, in real time as the, uh, as the sound was playing. Uh, but of course in your assignment you won't be able to do that and you won't be able to use the automation system to do that either because that would qualify as a kind of sequencing which is excluded from this assignment. So you would have to resort to a modulation envelope or LFO1, both of which have the ability to modulate the controls of the filter frequency.